title of today is the 11th, 11th of the 8th, 2013 JTCM Sunday Meet and um, a little bit to say here today and we hope that, uh, I hope that I can squeeze it all in. It's very important what I have to say uh, here today. Yeah, so the first thing I want to say is that um, uh, ABC Radio on, on the 8th of the 8th, 2013, there's a program on in the morning, ABC Radio, and Julie, Julie Bishop, the Deputy op Opposition Leader of um, Tony Abbott, you won't believe this, but I mean, she quoted... And, and she questioned that uh, the state of mental health of Kevin Rudd. Now you wouldn't read about it, and I'm getting um, I'm getting defamation writings uh, in my emails saying that uh, I was in a mental institution, and uh, Mr. Vicara, uh, my adversary, or so he says his name is. I'd just rather call him John, you know. <laughs> John, that's good enough for me. And uh, uh, accusing accusing me of being a mental case or once upon a time. or And uh, then we have that on ABC Radio, Julie, uh, Julie Bishop, Deputy Opposition Leader, accusing uh, uh, Kevin Rudd and questioning his state of mental... Uh, health. I mean, wow. We, we get a lot of confirmations in this fellowship weekly and sometimes daily, but that's just uh, unbelievable, isn't it? Let's turn, let's turn in our Bibles to the writings of Daniel to start with today. The writings of Daniel, chapter 4. We're going to go to Daniel 4 and... Uh, <coughs> Praise his holy name, the name of Jesus, so eh? the name of Jesus. And before I read from there, let me let me in this pre prelude, let me um, give a brief outline of what I have said in my final word. <coughs> On Mr. Vicara, my adversary, who's spreading uh, lies and defamation about me, along with Mr. Tim Hart. Uh, Jesus turns nightmares into happy meals. I mean, there's no doubt about that. And this lines up with our message later on in the meeting, the main course. Jesus turns nightmares into happy meals and not just happy meals not your maca golden arches type happy meals but heavenly heavenly happy meals in reference to what we're dealing with and working with in the fellowship at the moment psalm one so uh god makes all things very clear doesn't he to all all who want the truth so i've done a final article um and uh, critique, and uh, it basically says as a subheading, uh, in consideration of people's recommendations. You know, we can recommend a lot of things, but the, the true heart condition and the real IQ of the person doing the recommending is made manifest to all. So we better be careful who we recommend, who we promote, and... Um, Mr. Vicara has recommended the writings of a certain Jewish writer uh, by the name of Sam Vaknin. Sam Vaknin. Mr. Vicara uh, seems to think that he's my worst nightmare and I've told him by email, no, he's my happy meal. And uh, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read, I'm going to quote a 
a few things about Mr. Van Vanken and uh, quote a few words from his own writings and mouth. So Mr. Sam Vaknin, Vaknin is a Jew. He's an Israeli writer, columnist, editor, economics advisor, and is forward slash was, I don't know where he is and what he's doing today, business correspondent. He doesn't believe in healing, and I don't believe he believes in there's a God at all, um, especially Jesus the Christ as God. Uh, Vatkin has a self-appointed and self-proclaimed IQ of 180 and was a, was a one-time president of the Israeli chapter of the Unification Church. Unification Church's Professors for World Peace Academy, otherwise known as the Family Federation uh, for World Peace and Unification. I believe he has an antichrist spirit and uh, <clears throat> I believe also that he is tied up with the one world government, the one world church, somewhere along the line, and the Illuminati. That's what I, what I believe. I haven't done a lot of research on that. But let me say the Unification Church, uh, the founder is Reverend Sun Young Moon, and he's deceased now, uh, died not so long back, uh, a Korean, a total nutter, who believes in talking to the dead, he said he had a meeting in paradise with Jesus and the saints of old, and he has now the secrets, or had, because he's deceased, the secrets of heaven. Ha has millions of followers, had, had millions of followers, super duper rich. Um, and uh, Mr Moon and his wife, they regard themselves as the true mum and dad of humanity. Uh, church members of the Unification Church address Mr. Moon and his wife as true father and true mother. True father and true mother. <laughs> so how, uh, we're off to a good start. How clever is Mr. Vakin, the Jew writer? How clever? How clever is Mr. Vakin to get Vaknin, to get tied up with a, a, a hogwash devils like the Moon family and the Unification Church. And then we go backwards again and say, well, how, how clever is Mr. Vakara, if that is his name? As I say, I call him John. So uh, Mr. Moon and his wife, they, they sit on thrones. Well, when he was alive, they sit on thrones with crowns on their head, dressed in white, embroidered with gold. So... Moon, Mr. Moon, who now deceased, he reckons that Jesus didn't completely uh, complete the full job for humanity, so he had to do the job. Uh, but, but Jesus wasn't a total failure, Mr. Moon said. I mean, and this one has millions of followers. As I say again, he is deceased now. Millions of followers. I only got an email this morning from a, a, a bloke by the name of Phil Ebe or Ide, Ide, uh, a staunch to the bone Lebanese Roman Catholic, you know, who says, I owe everything to the Roman Catholic Church, I owe my life to the Roman Catholic Church, believes that uh, Yahweh has a mother, you know, God has a mother and her name is Mary. <coughs> well, it's strange, he emailed me this morning and said that I feel sorry for you with your few little flock, <laughs> and he said, uh, I come from a church with 1.2 billion, the Roman Catholic Church. I said, well, actually, I emailed him back and said, I feel sorry for you, actually. Strange. <laughs> I said, because uh, my brother, Noah, he had seven in his boat church. Hallelujah. And I think he's a notch or two above uh, um, Pope Francis, the talking mule. Who, who accepts sodomites? Who accepts sodomites? Can you say amen? amen? Oh, hallelujah. So, now, I'm going to get into the cruncher now. Uh, Mr. Mr. Vaknin, 
Mr. Vaknum was recommended to me by Mr. Vakara, if that's his name, I call him John. And uh, I'm getting into the blue tie scene, the man in the blue tie, you know. Uh, M Mr. Vaknum, I'm going to quote Mr. Vaknum from his own book and his own writings. Quote, Sam Vaknum, Vaknum, contrary to his much cultivated image, Jesus, like the vast majority of cult leaders, lacked empathy and was a heartless and irresponsible manipulator who, whose magical thinking ruined the lives of many. Jesus instructed his followers to commit acts that must have had harshly adverse impacts on their hitherto nearest and dearest. Jesus monopolised the lives of his disciples to the exclusion of all else and all others. As a true narcissist, Jesus reprimanded others for his own brand of behaviour. That was taken, the appendix was uh, Jesus Christ, narcissist, malignant, and it came from the book Malignant Self-Love, Narcissism Revisited by Sam Vaknin, unquote. So my question is here today, dear brethren and listeners, I said, getting to be sound like a bit like Mr. Speaker in the Parliament. Order! Order! My question here, Mr. Day, Mr. Speaker, no. My question here today is, could a true saint, a true child of the Most High God, Jesus the Christ, recommend such a lunatic writer as, as Sam Vatnan, the Jew, as one that could seriously help anyone in any real lasting way on any real issue, especially on mind-related subjects, let alone salvation from self, sin, Satan, the rod to come and eternal hellfire. Once again, IQ is certainly no confirmation or guarantee of sanity or salvation from eternal hellfire. Can someone say amen? And let me add to that. Mr. Speaker, and don't tell the university peoples that, will you? They might get wroth with you and start defaming you. Only someone who subscribes to such piffle as God TV could recommend the writings of Sam Vaknin. This is for certain. But you know what? My wonderful Saviour God, Jesus the Christ, he guarantees supreme sanity and eternal life by the power of Holy Ghost, his spirit of love, power and sanity indwelling, leading us all the way to glory. Listen, but only on the basis of faith obedience. Listen to me. Supreme sanity equals Holiness. Whoo! How great the world. At the end of the day, at least I'm numbered with the Christ. That's the main thing. And not with the Vakaras, the Vaknins, the Moons, the Tim Hearts, or the God TVs of the world. Praise God for happy meals. Once again, I've been publicly identified with the Christ, God Almighty, as being one of his. And to make it even more perfect, I've been exalted by mine enemies. Ari, the Muslim who tried to kill me in the streets of Brisbane in 2002, also numbered me with Yahweh, confirming that the words of Jeremiah the prophet, the Muslim from Saudi Arabia said to the journalists in Channel 9 and, and, and ABC and so forth that the preacher burnt my heart with his words. And now I'm being called by uh, uh, Mr. Tim, or, or, I should say uh, uh, um, Mr. Tim Hart and uh, Mr. Vakara, if that's his name, I call him John. I'm, I'm called a narcissist and a mental case. And, but now I'm being called a narcissist just like my master Jesus the Christ. Hey? Is there any higher, greater, or richer honour 
to be had a, 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 as a minister of the gospel? I dare say no. And the congregation said, Amen, amen and Amen and Amen. Shall we go into the message today, brethren? Oh, I wish they'd stop exalting me. <laughs> hey? I wish people would just start, cease from exalting me to high standards and the greatest standards, calling me as the Christ, a narcissist, calling me a mental case. Well, the scriptures say that. They're not learning nothing new. They said Jesus was mad. They said Paul had gone mad all, with all his studying. Can you say amen? Hey? They called every prophet of old a nutcase. Can you say amen? Yeah. They said that all kinds of things. They got so angry with them, they run them out of town, stoned them to death, burnt them uh, uh, to death, and at the stake, boiled them in oil, as they did with John the Beloved. Can you say amen? And hung Peter upside down. Oh, glory, on a cross. Hey? Hey? So let's go to Daniel now as we enter into the main course. Daniel 4, as we approach the main course. Daniel 4 and the verse is 33. That very hour the word was fulfilled concerning King Nebuchadnezzar. He was driven from men and ate grass like oxen. His body was wet with the dew of heaven till his hair had grown like eagles' feathers and his nails like birds' claws. And at the end of the time, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted my eyes to heaven and my understanding returned to me and I blessed the Most High, praised and honoured him who lives forever. For his dominion is an everlasting dominion and his kingdom is from generation to generation. All the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. He does according to his will in the army of heaven. And among the inhabitants of the earth, no one can restrain his hand or say to him, what have you done? At the same time, my reason returned to me. And for the glory of my kingdom, my honour and splendour returned to me by counsellors and nobles resorted to me. I was restored to my kingdom and excellent majesty was added to me. The moment, the moment he come to his senses, the moment, hey, sanity restored. Sanity restored when we acknowledge God for who he really is. Mr. Vaknin, you're insane. You need to have sanity restored by exalting Yahweh, Sabbath, by exalting the Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus, the Christ for who he really is. Hey? He does according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. No one can restrain his hand or say to him, what have you done? Hey? At the same time, my reason returned, my sanity returned to me after he acknowledged who God really was. Praise the Lord. Eh? How great the art. <laughs> no, no, Jesus is not a narcissist. Jesus is not insane. You are Mr. Vankin. Hi, you are Mr. Vankin. All liars are insane. They don't have the spirit of sanity because the spirit of sanity, the spirit of the Lord is the spirit of truth. Hallelujah. The spirit of love, agape. The spirit of power, power. Hallelujah. Right? The spirit 
of the Lord God Almighty is upon me today to proclaim the truth in the midst of the congregation and the assembly and everybody agreed and said, and said, oh, let's go in to the message today, shall we, eh? And Julie Bishop uh, questioned. She didn't have the backbone to say what she really thought that she is trying to defame Kevin Rudd. Not that I'm trying to exalt him, but you see it goes on there too, doesn't it? Nasty, nasty boy. These nasty things from the devil. <laughs> I'm doubting. I'm questioning. She uses those word play. I'm questioning. So nothing can be uh, laid upon her name. Hey? Evil word play. I'm questioning his mental health. Oh, dear, dear, dear me. Hey? I might just take that for a tick. I'm questioning Mr. Vicara's mental health. I'm questioning Tim Hart's mental health. I'm questioning Mr. Vaknin, the, the filthy, rich, lying Jew. I'm questioning his mental health. Oh, hallelujah. Who be I to say such things? I would have to be one that was to be shut up and not listened to because I don't have... A thousand dollars shoes on. I don't wear an Italian suit, or maybe I don't have six thousand uh, evils in my congregation. <laughs> At least go along with evil. Well, that'd be evils, wouldn't they? Not eagles, evils. Hey, eh? how great thou art! Hey, eh? how great! Let's go into Psalm one. That's where we're working out of Psalm 1. We're in the blessed realm. We, we, are, we are here today. We are team delight. Hey? Oh, not skyrockets in flight, but team delight. Hey? Team delight. Psalm 1. Bless! Ah! Ah! Bless! is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. I refuse, I refuse to walk in the counsel of Mr. Vicara, if that's his name, I prefer to call him John. I, I, I refuse to walk in the counsel of Sun Young Moon, deceased. I, I refuse to walk in the devil's counsel and the counsel of the world, and psychopsychologists, I refuse, like Mr. Sam Vaknin, I refuse to walk in the council of the AOG and Hellsong and Hillsong, COC, Hungry Jacks, Baptist, Seven Day Adventist, Eight Day Adventist, Nine Day Adventist. I, I, I refuse to walk in the council of the One World Church, <laughs> the One World Government. Come on now, or Julie Bishop. I, I refuse to walk in the council. Of the ungodly. Whoo! For the word of God, the words of Jesus, Mr. Vaknin, the words of Jesus are yea and amen to the believer only, to the saved, to the saved. And even the Baptist churches and the Pentecostal churches, the word and the, the word of God and the doctrines of Christ, the doctrine of the Lord Jesus Christ is not yea and amen anymore. They doubt, don't they? They doubt. You know they doubt. They don't believe because they say, Oh, that's once you're saved, you're always saved. <laughs> don't bother. <laughs> once you're saved, you're always saved. <laughs> you did that boy in Houston and Bobby. Bobby Thurston, you just ask them. Hey, you ask them. His name is above all names. Oh, but not above Bobby Houston. Not above Brian Houston. That's why they got their own name. They don't walk under the name of Jesus the Christ. They walk under the name of Hellsong. They walk under the name of AOG, the Assembly of the Gods. 
The assembling of the gods in the last days. They walk under the name of Joseph Smith. Ellen G. White. They walk under the name of humans. They don't walk under the name of Jesus. They walk under the name powerless, pitiful, fickle, flaky names of humans. Can someone say amen? I'm going to start preaching in a minute. Hallelujah. I really do feel like preaching today, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? <laughs> Blessed is the man who walks on the counsel of the young God, nor stands, doesn't even, start, doesn't even consider getting it on with sin. Doesn't stand there thinking about it. He sees it, recognizes it, and flees. Nor sits in the seats of the denominations. I mean the scornful. <laughs> nor sits in the seats of God TV. Nor sits in the seats of Benny Hinn. Nor sits in the seats of Joyce Meyer. Nor sits in the seats of Joel Osteen. Nor sits in the seats of Charles Stanley. Nor sits in the seats of Pat Robertson. Nor sits in the seats of James Robertson and Betty Robertson. They don't sit in the seats of the scornful and the mockers who mock Jesus every day with their false doctrine and their lying and they're adding to the word and taking it away from the word. Oh, you don't need a teacher. You don't need a pastor. You don't need to go to church. You, you look, you need to be repentant. You need to be born again to repent. You lying devil. But his delight. Whoo! Skyrockets in flight. Absolute delight. But his delight is in the word of God and the doctrine of Jesus the Christ. He's in there day and night. He's conferring with the master day and night. Everybody said amen. Woo! Today, we're going into verse 3. Today. Hey? Verse 3 says, this same person is like a tree. He shall be like a tree. <laughs> Planted by the rivers of water. Brings forth its fruit in its season. Whose leaf, whose leaf, hallelujah, whose leaf also shall not wither. And whatever he does, whatever he does, shall prosper. Whatever I have done from the day I've met Jesus has prospered. Whatever I have done, it doesn't matter what it is. Whatever, especially this ministry, it has flourished. It, 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 it has been empowered it has been vindicated it has been justified by the god of truth all mine enemies have been brought to nothing they've been put to shame by the hand of the most high god who dwells in the heavens someone say amen, amen. Yes. glory to the lamb of god who came to take away the sin of the world and have mercy on us, eh? Our message today, our message today is called tree, tree, hey? That we may be trees. All the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. That includes Vakara and Vaknin and Hart and Benny Hinn. Sun, young, moon, deceased. All these devils. All the inhabitants of the earth are reputed nothing. He does according to his will in the army of heaven. And among the inhabitants of the earth, no one can restrain his hand or say to him, what have you done? No one can restrain the hand of the Lord. When God has anointed a man, ain't nobody going to stop him. No, no organized, no religion, 
No money man, no government, no one will stop the true prophet of the Lord. No one. They can raise up their accusations. They can raise up their filthy garbage and their dribble and piffle and rubbish and they can spread it all over the world but the true prophet walks through the middle of the mud in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Eh? Like a tree. Like a tree. Those who are truly blessed The heavenly happy are like trees. Let's go to Isaiah 61. Trees. Hey? Trees. Whoo! He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit and season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Isaiah 61, starting at verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me today because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good news, the good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal a broken heart, to proclaim liberty to captives. The opening of the prison to those who are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord the day of the vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn in Zion, to counsel those who mourn in Zion, to give beauty for ashes, all of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaven, that they may be called trees of righteousness, planted by Yahweh, that the glory may be given to him. Can someone say amen? amen? We're not gum trees. We're not wattle trees. We're not orange trees. We're not apple trees. Banana trees. Even though we live in Queensland. We're not... We're, we're not any other tree except trees. Of righteousness. Plantings. Planted by the Lord. We're not planted by a religion. We're not planted by a denomination. The Lord gives us the identification of the tree. He says it is a tree of righteousness. But then he elaborates, doesn't he? He elaborates. The Lord elaborates. And he says that they are a tree. Let's go to verse 3. To console those who mourn in Zion, to give them, here we are, beauty for us. These are beautiful trees. These are miracle trees. Where the true people of God are a beautiful people. The true people of God are miracle trees. Working people. Can you say amen? We're not just ordinary people. We're special. We're special people. Hallelujah. Right? We're the special people. Praise God. Right? We're not just ordinary people. We're excited. We're not casual kind of people. Good morning, brother. What's your name, brother? Tiggle. Brother Tiggle. Good morning, Brother Tiggle. Let's give Brother Tiggle a hand. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, it's always good to see a new face. Praise God, eh? Hey, eh, Brother Patrick's not wasting any time with discipling, is he? Hey, eh? he's on the, on the job. He's a tree of righteousness, hey? Eh? Oh, he's a beautiful person. Hey? We're the true beautiful people. They seem to think they're in Hollywood, you know. Those ugly things with all their makeup and all their wall paint and all their two pains and, 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 and their uh, uh, plastic surgery changing their face because they think they can do a better job than the Creator Jesus. Now, we're the beautiful people. We're reading out of Isaiah. 
61 and verse 3. Where the trees, plantings of the Lord. He said like a tree. We don't look like trees, but we are. He used that as a, as a, a, a hypothetical. He used that as a, an example to, to get the message across. Yeah? He give us beauty for ashes. We're a beautiful people. We're not some ugly people going around defaming people. But we do go around speaking the truth about people. You know, because I'm born of the spirit of the Christ and the first thing he done for me and to me was to tell me the truth about me. So therefore, I'm just addicted to doing that. I can't help it. I have the spirit of telling the truth about me in me. I have the, the spirit of truth, the Holy Ghost. Can someone say amen? To give them beauty for ashes. We had nothing else to offer the people before except ashes. I don't care if it's in your ashtray. I don't care if it's in a packet of Stuyvesant, Benson and Hedges. I don't care if it's Port Royal. I don't care if it's drum, tobacco. That's all I had to offer others before. Would you like a Roly? <laughs> would, you, would you like a Guinness, you know? <laughs> I got a few extras in the fridge. Would you like a beer? I had nothing to offer. Right? But now, because I'm a tree of righteousness, I'm a planting of Messiah, Jesus, the Christ, Yeshua, Hamashiach. Hey, I'm a planting of the Lord to give them beauty for ashes. We have nothing to give of any value. So he had to give us beauty, didn't he? He had to make you beautiful, you ugly thing. He had to make me beautiful. And now, oh, how beautiful are the feet. Woo! Keep your eyes on the feet. Oh, woo! Hey, keep your eyes on the feet. See where the people are walking. Are they walking in the council of the Lord? Or are they walking with Sun Young Moon? Or are they walking with Mr. Vaknin? Or are they walking with the AOG or the COC or Hungry Jacks? See where they're walking, hey? Come on now. See where they're walking. Every step you can take, I'll be watching you. Hey? Every move you make, Jesus is watching. Oh, can't you see? We belong to him. We belong to the Christ. We're his. We're bought. We're bought with the blood. We're his possession. We are not our own anymore. We are his to do with whatever he pleases. And all the inhabitants of the earth, he does according. All the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. He does according to his will in the army of heaven. And among the inhabitants of the earth, no one can restrain Yahweh's hand or say to him, what have you done? Because he is the potter and we are the clay. To give them beauty. See, he didn't just give us grace and faith. <laughs> he had to give us a character. He had to give us some kind of a heavenly character, didn't he? And Jesus' name is beautiful, isn't it? Prince of Peace. Mighty God. Hey? Isaiah 9 sings. His name will be called Wonderful. Counselor. Beautiful. He's more beautiful than diamonds, isn't he? He's more precious than gold. <laughs> so he gives us beauty for our ashes. I had nothing to give him except the open door to my heart that he could come in and take the stone out and replace it with a heart of flesh committed to him, open to him, subjected to him. 
a heart no, that no longer rebels against him, but subjects itself to him. How great the sin is it that comes to the Lord and turns away and says, oh, it doesn't work. I tried everything. It just doesn't work. This God you talk about, Jesus, can't deliver me from sodomy, can't deliver me from lesbianism, can't deliver me from alcohol, can't deliver me from drugs. The heroin is just too strong for Jesus. He just can't overcome. Hogwash! Lies from the devil himself. Jesus said, I come to set the captive free. He come to open the prison door. He come that he may take vengeance. He come that he may preach the truth to the poor. It's not ending here on earth. There's another kingdom and another life where you can be infinitely rich. Ah! The Spirit of the Lord is upon me that I may preach the truth that the captive may go free and that they may be set at liberty, those who are hankered and oppressed by the devil. Someone say amen. amen. Oh! We don't want to get religious, do we? We don't want to get dearly beloved. We don't want to get all hello there today. Dearly beloved. We don't want to do that. I we don't want to get religious, we want to get righteous, don't we? To give that oh look, this could end up a series. I this could the tree could end up a series. Well he did say it's a tree. It's got branches. <laughs> ah! Ah! He did say it's a tree. We are trees. And we do have branches, don't we? Well, the first branch we're looking at today is beauty. The beauty branch. <laughs> Trees of righteousness. Planted by the Lord. Could you be anything else? Hi? Could you be anything else? But the devil wants us to ruin it, doesn't he? He wants us to ruin it all. The Lord said in Isaiah chapter 5, He said, I planted you a noble vine and... How is it that you are not bearing the fruit? How is it that you're not bearing good fruit? How is it that I planted you? I planted you. Hey? Look, at, at the end of the day, it comes back to submission, doesn't it? If our earthly fathers who disciplined us and chastened us, hey, required of us, how much more should we be subject to to the heavenly father of lights in whom there's no change or variation. Someone say amen. How much more shall we be subject to him who is the potter? How much more? As the king Nebuchadnezzar said, the moment, that moment, after I finished praising Jesus, after I acknowledged Yahweh for who he really was, that his dominion, is an everlasting dominion and his kingdom is from generation to generation. After I had finished telling the truth about God Almighty, my sanity returned. Oh, my kingdom was restored. Then years the king of worm, the palm of worm, and the caterpillar of Eden ah, have been restored to me. Oh! Everything was made beautiful again. Because everything is beautiful in its own way. Eh? <laughs> like the starry summer's night in the snow covered winter's day. Everything is beautiful. In its own way, hey, just like the body of Christ, we are many members, hallelujah. Ah, we all have our different work to do, and we all play a different part in the army of God. Someone say amen. 
I think it might have to be a series, <laughs> a tree series, eh? and we'll branch out into <laughs> we'll we'll branch out into the exposition of the power of God by the Spirit, not by reading from an A4 sheet of paper like they do in the demonized denominations and the Pope's house, Pope Francis, the talking mule, who accepts sodomy. And says, don't judge. You see the words of Pope Francis? Suppose head of the church on earth? Suppose me, the vicar of Christ? You hear his words on the television? Don't judge. Well, what are they saying in the denominations? In the seven-day Adventist, the eight-day Adventist, COCCCC, Baptist, AOG, Hillsong, Hillsong. What are they saying? What have I been saying for the last 26 years that I've been preaching? Don't judge. Don't judge. Don't judge. Now, we know where it comes from, don't we? It comes from the spirit of the Antichrist himself. Antichrist is anti-truth. Like our Mr. Vaknin, Antichrist, calling Jesus a narcissist, calling me a narcissist, Mr. Vakara, calling me a narcissist. If that's his name, I prefer to call him John. <laughs> There's a hidden word in there, isn't there? If you know what I mean, a little bit of a nudge with the elbow there. You know what I mean? Hey? Wink, wink, say no more, they say in the world, don't they? But you know what the Lord tells us in the scriptures? Not to wink. Don't wink with the eye when you say to someone, yeah, beauty, mate. Don't wink with your eye because the scriptures say you can't trust a man who winks with the eye. Amen? So that's only 99.9 .9 recurring of the world, isn't it? <laughs> but there is a remnant. There is a remnant. There is a holy remnant, not a remnant. Holy remnant. Supreme sanity equals holiness. I'm not talking about this so-called sanity of, of Mr. Vaknin. See, all the Vaknins and the Vakaras and the, and the hearts and the heartless and, and all the rest of them, they're just adding to my message. They're, and that's what Romans 8.28 says, doesn't it? All things will work for you. Everyone's working for Paul Sheehan. <laughs> Mr. Vaknin, Mr. Vicara, if that's his name, I prefer to call him John. Yeah, uh, Mr. Hart, they're all working for me. They're all my unpaid employees. <laughs> and I don't aim on paying them. Hey? Give them beauty for ashes. He had to give it to us. We never had it, did we? He had to give it to him. Hey? Reverend Sun Young Moon, deceased, who used to, who founded the Unification Church, the Church of the Devil, he, uh, he seemed to believe that uh, he was above Jesus and he said he suffered so much he deserved the uh, revelation light of heaven and he did heaven. So, even if he, if that was true, he still cancelled out Yahweh and Jesus and, and, and their omniscience and omnipotence and omnipresence by saying that he suffered to get it. It's all given, just like the beauty, just like the grace and the faith. They say, oh, but you're once saved, always saved, you know. They, they always try and to counteract by saying, oh, you're working your way to heaven. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm, I, 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 I'm obeying my way to heaven. Amen. How can anyone boast and say, i done this, i done that, when the grace was given, grace equals power, and the faith was given? We just got to utilise it, hey? We access the power, the grace by faith. Hey? And we, and we show that we do have faith by obedience. Obedience is the manifestation of uh, uh, like precious faith. Someone say amen. 
Yeah. So, and we're given the beauty. Can we have nothing to go out there with? You notice that Jesus said, and Isaiah the prophet said, and the scripture we're reading today, Isaiah 61.1, he starts off with the spirit of the Lord is upon me. See that? That's why the Lord said in the book of Acts, go nowhere until he, until he has come, till you have been endued with power from on high. Because you've got nothing to give. It is a religious thing. Or you can buy someone a pie or have a sausage sizzle. And you can give someone your old shoes or shirt. You're listening. Hey? Come on. Holiness, as I said before, supreme sanity equals holiness. You know holiness and walking in holiness, I tell you now, listen to me. I know many won't like me saying this, but it's better than sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than sex. <laughs> that sort of thing, S-E-X, that only lasts for a few minutes, doesn't it? And it's, it's all gone. <laughs> next, what am I going to do next? But holiness, the Lord desires that we partake. Oh, you shouldn't say that. But then you got Hillsong saying, Christian women love sex. And, and the wife of Brian Houston writing books. Christian women love sex. Sounds like someone from the Ecker, doesn't it? <laughs> Selling the hot dogs. <laughs> I wonder if Brian, I wonder if Bobby Houston's got a book out there next to the waffle stand. Christian women love sex. Well, they need to get born again. And it won't be so flash to them, will it? Amen? Hallelujah! That we may partake of his holiness. Partake of his truth. Partake of the zenith. And when we're in the zenith, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, does it? Nothing matters. Nothing. The earth can tremble and the heavens fall. And you are not moved. Hey? <laughs> it's all just horse and rider. Thrown into the sea. All Egyptian ad uh, adversaries in the sea. Amen? Amen? The Spirit of the Lord comes to us that we may lay hold of, that we may be eligible, that we may be units, vessels to carry the beauty. The beauty of the Christ hey? yeah. around that we may be those vessels of honour and not vessels of dishonour like Mr Vaccaro uh, if that's his name I prefer to call him John or Mr Vaknin <laughs> or Mr Hart the Heartless on his weasel website the righteous are as bold as lions. If a minister is afraid of someone, I'd tell him to repent and be born again. Paul the Apostle said, I'm not afraid of dying. Paul the Apostle said, I count not my life dear to me. My life means nothing to me. My life. That's why we sing this, the little chorus in this church. Thy loving kindness is better, better than my life. Hey? Thy loving kindness. Thy loving kindness is better than my life. Thy loving kindness is better than my life. My lips will praise thee. Thus will I bless thee, oh. Thy loving kindness. Is better than life. Plantings of the Lord that he may be glorified. The glory belongs to Jesus. The king of the Jews who hung on the tree. Yeah? The glory belongs to him. All this is done. Everything. It's not done because he you, you, you thinks you're someone. 
<laughs> he thinks I'm someone. God don't need me. He can just give me the flick any minute of the day. It can be cardiac arrest over, lights out. Party over. You know, and we're going to party till it's 1999. <laughs> party over. That's the date, that's the year my son was born, he was. Brother Shadrach. 1999. <laughs> hey? In the year 2525, will man be still alive? Can woman still survive? They may try. <laughs> In the year 2535. No. To give beauty. He come, he come that we may be the beautiful people. Not the ugly things, but the beautiful. We weren't beautiful before. No matter how beautiful I think Marilyn Monroe was, she was an ugly thing. And died an ugly thing. Can you say amen? Yes. Hey? God looks on the? On the makeup. I mean, God, lo God looks on the? Biceps. Tattoos? Triceps. Lats. Six pack. No. God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> God looks on the bank account. No. No, God looks on the credential card. No, God does not look on your IQ. Because when he sees an IQ written down, someone writing down their IQ as Mr. Wagner, 180. I don't believe that. Yeah, he said, oh, well, that man, he turns, you know. God come into his life. And he turned around one, uh, 180 degrees. Well, you know, I reckon Mr. Vaknin and Mr. Vakara, uh, uh, if that's his name, I'd rather call him John, uh, and Mr. Hart, I reckon they've uh, done the um, the 800, you know. They didn't turn 180, it was 800 degrees. That's another word for twisted. <laughs> I reckon they're twisted. Who knows? I don't know. They might listen to Twisted Sister. But, <laughs> but or Johnny Rotten or whatever. Johnny Rotten? No. Beauty for ashes. Beauty. 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 Who aren't associated with the beast. Is that right? Beauty is not nothing to do with the beast. 666. Antichrist doctrines. Hey? Illuminati. One World Church, um, Jewish Banking Federation of the World, One World Government, uh, you know, the Harlot Church with her purple and scarlet clothing and her chalice that everyone's drinking their, their filth from, hey, waiting to be slain. By the warlord of the heavens, Jesus the Christ, who has eyes of fire and a face like lightning. Yeah? Who judges in holiness and righteousness and makes war. My Jesus is a warlord. He is not gay. He is not a sodomite. He is not a thief, a drunkard or a liar. Yeah? Oh, no, it's not our Jesus. Our Jesus don't hurt no one. <laughs> that's probably why he constructed the place called hell don't tell me the devil made hell it's a big job you know there's inner regions and all sorts of things going on there right? there's depths and, 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 and all kinds of punishments happening in this place yeah so who, who, who created it don't tell me Ben Laden <laughs> Hitler 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 Hitler, if anyone outside of Jesus created hell, it would have been Eve. <laughs> She's the one that created hell for everyone. Oh, but the church is the spineless, emasculated things, too gutless to say it was Eve. In case they get in the wrong books with, 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 with the um, handbag brigade. And we know that the handbag brigade 
and children are the majority of any children, don't we? So I can't hear anyone, don't we? No, no, no. The spirit of Elijah will come in the last days. Well, actually, the scripture reads that Elijah will come in the last days. But it's actually talking about the restoration of truth for those who will accept him. And that's a thorough purge, isn't it? That's a, 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 a complete uh, offering of the truth, come what may, that you will love the Lord Jesus Christ more than your mother, sister, brother, culture, colour, biceps, triceps, profession, possessions, even your own sin. If that's the case, you'll be running with that. You'll, be, you, you, you'll have a witness of that Elijah spirit in your life. Eh? And not an e- Eli spirit, but an Elijah spirit. Hey? Eh? Beautiful, beautiful, Prince of Peace, my mighty one. So today's message is called Tree. Tree. I know they'll say, this guy's off his tree. <laughs> but I'm not. I can tell you now, I'm more sane than the same. I'm holy. That's supreme sanity. What's holy? Tell me what holy is. And someone sitting with a white garment on. You know, like the Mormons, they wear their white shirt every Sunday. Make sure it starts and no spots on it. We don't want anyone finding out our sin. And they go down the church, white garment. The heart's like coal mines. Yeah? I've seen that woman on TV named Pink. Pink, P-I-N-K. She wears white garments too. (laughs) Ah! Ah! Doesn't say much, does it? Huh? Because God looks on the heart. And when he looked on the heart of the people of the earth, he seen there was no beauty. He, he's disgusted he ever made man. So he had to do a work, turn it all around through Christ Jesus, our Lord, Saviour, propitiation for our sin, our mediator, the preeminent one, omnipotent one. Yeah? Wonderful name. So, of course they will think you're off your tree. Of course they'll think you're off your tree. That's what the devil tells them. Anything, just avoid that truth. Avoid that truth. Hallelujah. One of the women of the handbrake brigade <clears throat> many years ago got really, really angry with me. And she is in the fellowship for a little, little, little while and she had about four or five women with her that she's leading around by the nose. And she came into the fellowship and thinks she's going to turn it all around and she's going to become the hero. And I said, Billy, don't be a hero. Don't be a fool with your life. And she said, I've got a word for you from God. I said, oh, I can't wait to hear it. She said, yeah. And she thought she was going to make a fool out of me in front of everyone. I said, well, let it all, don't just tell me, tell everyone. And, and we'll, we'll test it and see if it's true. And she said, yeah, it's, it's in Hosea 9, 7. And it says, the days of punishment have come. The days of recompense have come. Israel knows the prophet is a fool. The spiritual man's insane. Because of the greatness of your sin. You're listening. And she said, see? I said, you're exalting me. You're saying I'm a true prophet. They, They will say that the true prophet's insane. They said Jesus was insane, didn't they? They said he was mad. Mr. Vaknin carries it on in his generation. He's only about four years younger than me. And he reckons that Jesus is a narcissist. 
Sarkopath. And then they, I get a, a mail calling me a psychopath and a narcissist. Praise God. Praise God. Hey? Praise God from where all good things come. Blessed are you when they persecute you. Speak evil of you. It's like my, my Muslim uh, enemy. What did the preacher do to you, Mr. Muslim? He burned my heart with his wounds. Oh, Jeremiah 23, 29 manifested. Wow, he must be a true prophet. <laughs> he burned my heart with his words. And as Jesus walked along the road of Emmaus, their hearts burned. Put your hand up if your heart burned here today. Put your hand up. Oh, yeah, they know Jesus. <laughs> if your heart didn't burn, you're out of touch. My heart was burning. Burn, burn, Holy Spirit, burn in me. Set my heart on fire. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. Right, oh. So, our message today the tree. We'll go on next week with the tree. We'll branch out into the next section. <laughs> hey? And we'll glorify God. We're, 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 this fellowship's about glorifying Jesus. And he can take the scum of the earth like me, the fools of the earth like me, the nobodies of the earth like me, and confound those who, who think they're wise. And believe me, Mr. Vaknin, the Jew, he writes his abuse about Jesus. He, he's a, a wanted speaker in the world. Just goes to show you, isn't it? Hey? Just goes to show you what people want. Just give me money. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's what I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just give me money. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. Just give me money. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's what I want. I tell you what, if you're looking for money, you can't preach the message that this ministry preaches. If you want to be rich financially, you ain't going to get no one. <laughs> hey? So our message today, the tree. The tree. The beautiful tree. Hey? The beautiful tree. And today is the 11th, is that right? Of the 8th, 2013. We give all the glory to Jesus and everybody said, Amen. Amen.